Welcome to Breaking News TV 24, your channel for news updates and current affairs. Stay tuned. Hello, our dear listeners, welcome to our YouTube channel, Breaking News TV 24. Today's news update on the issue of blockchain technology. A federal government launches policy in a great national implementation steering committee. For details of the story, please stay tuned. The federal government of Nigeria has launched a national policy on blockchain technology and inaugurated the implementation and steering committee to oversee its implementation. The policy which was launched by the Minister of Communications and Digital Economy, Professor Isa Ali Pantami, is targeted at promoting the adoption of blockchain technology in Nigeria and the position in the country as a leading player in the global blockchain ecosystem. While launching the policy, Pantani recalled that the journey of blockchain technology officially started in Nigeria on 28 November 2019 at the International Conference Center, Abuja, where President Muhammad Buhari unveiled and launched the National Digital Economy Policy and Strategy, NDEPS, for a digital Nigeria. He said in order to implement the seventh pillar, we had to develop other policies including policy on artificial intelligence and robotics which brought about the establishment of the first ever national center for artificial intelligence and robotics in africa cited here in abuja also in our efforts to implement the policy particularly pillar number seven we developed the national blockchain policy for nigeria professor isal Fantani noted the minister stressed the importance of technology to the nation's digital economy drive, noting that the fourth industrial revolution is comparatively the one that has not relegated the African continent to the background, especially as African nations, particularly Nigeria, are actively participating in the revolution, which he added is an extension of the third revolution. Uh, blockchain technology, artificial intelligence, AI robotics, cloud and quantum computing, virtual and augmented reality, mm -hmm. autonomous vehicle, biotechnology, 5G cybersecurity are uh, all disruptive technologies brought by the fourth industrial revolution and Nigeria is one of the at least three countries mm -hmm. in the Africa that are actively involved in the fourth industrial revolution, he added. According to Pantami, the success stories of exploits and the displays of ingenuity by Nigerian innovators underscore the country's position as a key player in Africa's technological development and strengthen the country's position as a leading startup hub in Africa. While noting the development and the subsequent approval of the national blockchain policy on the 3rd of May, 2023, Professor Isa Ali Pantani confirmed that the take and all its components and the types are no more illegal but now legal in the country. And this policy is to provide an enabling environment for your teeming young population who are mostly digital natives to partake in critical thinking, identify complex problems, come up with solutions for the implementation of adoption in Nigeria or any parts of the world, Professor Pantani noted. The Director General of the National Information Technology Development Agency, NIDA, Kashifu Inua Abdullah, affirmed that the policy represents a significant leap and the opportunity to create an enabling environment through investment in talents, access to the technology, and the domestication. The DG said this will give our citizens the opportunity to create and capture value from the enormous benefits of the tech. Inua who quoted PwC that by 2030, the blockchain technology will add 1.76 trillion US dollars to the global GDP maintained that the plan is to ensure that Nigeria positions itself properly to benefit therefrom. If the policy is implemented, Nigeria can gain up to 4 billion US dollars in a vote. The launch also featured the inauguration of the National Blockchain Policy Implementation and Steering Committee and the graduation of 32,022 beneficiaries trained in blockchain technology. Thanks for being with us and this marks the end of our story at the moment. Don't forget to join us later for more news updates but before then we would like to hear your opinions in the comment section. Have a nice time and goodbye.